And I work on so all the. Wait, put this closer. I work on uh, all the action figures. Do you start over again? Uh, no. We're this toying around at SCCC. I'm here at the Jada Toys booth. They're making some really great action figures, and we're gonna look at some figures with June, who's. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good. Yeah, uh, I'm June. I head up the figures department at Jada Toys, and I work on all the action figures. All right, let's take a look at some of this stuff. Um, obviously, the coolest thing out right now that uh, a lot of people like are the Street Fighter figures. Yeah, and uh, you know, just I know you have you're passionate about making some some of these characters, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Street Fighter is uh, one of my favorite properties, uh, and. Um, the brand is on fire right now, so this is Absolutely. our uh, top priority as a company. So you, you're going to see a lot more uh, figures coming out of this brand. So we have uh, three full waves shown right now. Uh, so it's a total of nine figures, and three of them have been uh, debuted at Comic-Con for the first time. So that's uh, Cami, Guile, and DJ. Yeah, so uh, we have them all here. Uh, they look awesome all next to each other. So the goal is to complete the roster. Uh, the sculpts on these are cool. I, yeah. I've, I've had a chance to handle Ryu only. Yeah, yeah. And uh, articulation's awesome. You can include accessories uh, like effects, mm -hmm. uh, extra, extra portraits. Um, yeah, it's just like, a great line. If you go down here, it kind of shows the pack out. So oh, like, and you went out, all out on the boxes. Oh, too. yeah, yeah. So it is looks that, like an arcade. Is that something that like um, you, you kind of you kind of like it has to be just to take it to the next level? Yeah, let's do, yeah. Let's do an arcade box. Yeah. So in the, instead of just using like a generic like style guide art, we wanted to take it to the next level. Um, so it looks like an arcade. So it next makes level. sense to the brand. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> and um, it's kind of an homage to the soda packaging that also kind of had an arcade style uh, graphics on them. Right. Yeah. Um, another really exciting line, just to see so many characters all together at once, the Mega Man line. Yeah, so uh, the, this is al also a Capcom prop property I was super excited to work on. Uh, so for this, our approach was kind of different in that we're trying to focus on the Robot Masters. Uh, they've never had uh, representations in action figure form. Right. So we're super excited about this, and I hope the fans are also excited about them. Um, so we also have three waves showcased here, and uh, yeah, so I, I think that this is the first time people are seeing what the package looks like mm -hmm. in person. So uh, these are also jam-packed with additional heads, hands, and accessories. Can't wait, can't wait. They're like all the, it's because of all the colors yeah, and the yeah. brightness of it on display here, yeah. it, it just catches your eye. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, they look super cool in person. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, we have the exclusive, con exclusive here, Evil, Evil Ryu. Yeah, so uh, this is a deluxe uh, treatment on a character where it's not just a straight repaint, but it includes extra parts and pieces. Uh, so like his stage has very iconic side pieces in it. Yep. So th that's something we really wanted to make. So it comes with one that's fully intact and one that's broken. And the way it's broken, is accurate to how it breaks in the game. Nice, I like yeah. that. Yeah, and he also comes as a new head sculpt, and he comes with uh, two special uh, fireball effects that are specific to his character. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, this one right here, I was staring at it for about five minutes, and then I did a double take. Yeah. I'm like, how do those knees bend like that? Are these statues? That's soft goods on yeah. the, the cyber punk. Can you talk about these ones and like their articulation and posability? Yeah, so uh, the, this is a brand I was super excited about. Um, I saw the anime. Uh, the character designs are awesome, so it's something I wanted to do instantly. Uh, so yeah, for this one, uh, we're taking a different approach compared to our other lines. Uh, we're going full soft goods on these. Right. Uh, I just think it made sense especially like David's jacket, where if it's soft goods, we can put more love into it. So um, the articulation scheme is very similar to our Street Fighter line, uh, but and, and the soft goods, it doesn't hinder the range of motions on the elbows and the knees. So that's something we've really focused on. Okay. Uh, his jacket comes off also, and it's fully detailed and painted all over his body. He even has the attachment on his spine, which he gets in the show. So this one we're super excited about. It looks great, man. And you see MSRP 
Uh, TBD. Yeah, so um, our figures uh, in this style are typically $25. Yeah. Uh, so this is basically a $25 figure with the addition of the soft goods. So, so we're still working through the pricing right now. Yeah. Uh, so once we have that figured out, uh, we'll let you guys know. Uh, for me personally, the goal is to not go over the thirty-five to forty-dollar range. Right. Uh, with the soft goods in there. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta. Yeah. So worst case scenario, if we can keep it under fifty dollars, I, I think that's ideal for us. And uh, full soft goods figures, uh, it's not really offered at that price range. Not at all. So I feel like if we could make it happen, I think it's gonna be a win for everybody. Yeah. And uh, another another thing here really fun line how, how have these been doing yeah so uh, we launched Frankenberry and Count Chocula first uh, the reception was uh, positive it was something very unique and yeah uh, but uh, since it came out people have been always asking about blueberry where's blueberry so we finally came out with a blueberry yep uh, we, we had some quantities available uh, at comic-con to sell and it actually did pretty well and he's he's, he's, he's the runaway star of this line so uh, uh, we're super excited about that and of it's kind of like our food mascots uh, line I love so, it so we want to keep adding to it so the next one in line is Chester Cheetah and how, how's the articulation like on this guy oh yeah you can so, see all, all the all the joints there yeah so the articulation is much improved compared to the uh, cereal monsters um, so uh, because of the aesthetic they're super clean and simple. We wanted to keep it single jointed to keep the smoothness, uh -huh. but the range is uh, is like a double joint. So uh, it has a ball joint at the waist. Um, it, it has a it has all the articulation you want, like ankle rockers and even the tails articulated. And his whiskers are also separate nylon strands. Oh, nice. Yeah. So uh, he, he's super fun to play with. And he also comes with a own Cheeto and his own little uh, Cheetos bag. A lot of people are going to love that accessory yeah, yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Use it for other stuff. Yeah, exactly. Official branded, not like some, yeah. you know, Knock blue bag name yeah. on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, that's going to be a lot of fun. All of these, actually. Yeah. And the packaging is fun for the food mascots because it kind of looks like the packaging of what the contents are. Yeah. And then on the side, uh, we have an action figure fax instead of nutritional fax. So it shows all the articulation and Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just make sure your parents or relatives don't throw it out in the recycling because <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah, yeah. too accurate. Um, yeah, man, it's it's super exciting to to see, you know, because it's mostly the car stuff over there. Yeah. But you know, mostly into action figures. So like to see a lineup like this, a display here. I'm glad I got to make it out to SCCC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Run into you, yeah, get to yeah, chat yeah. with you, and uh, talk about the toys. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you too. All right. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right.